Welcome to your daily sweat. 365 Fair Shanice in the same building. I'm so glad that you pressed play on a D25. Now, Shanice, Fair, they don't have a lot of time. Neither do you. So we got to get in and out. Now, this one you press play on, this is not a moderate or moderate to intense. This one's intense. So super glad that you're here. Let's go ahead. Did you get nervous? <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little blood flow. Let's go with some high knees. Three, two, one. High knees, high knees, high knees. So typically I like doing jumping jacks, but we'll start with some high knees today for another five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Now jumping jacks. Oh, I tricked y'all. We're still going to do jumping jacks. You thought we wasn't going to do jumping jacks. I don't know why I said high knees first this time. I want to do something different. All right. All right, here we go. In four seconds, we're going to go quick feet as fast as we can. Four, three, two, one. Quick feet for five. Four, three, two, one. All right, perfect. All right, let's go into some walking kicks, punter kicks. If you look at Farrah or Shanice, they're going to take that big kick going up, lengthen those hamstrings out. So today is going to be a full body workout. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it. That's, that's all I'm going to say. I don't think I need to say anything else. Yeah, I don't think I need to say anything else because I love you guys. Here we go. Four, three, two. Let's go. Right. Get those hips. Pull up. Get those knees up. Got Coach Shanice here. Got Fair. If you haven't did any of our deep stretching segments, check out Coach Fair. She's dope. She turns on that BET after dark voice and she leads us through our deep stretching. <laughs> so, true story, guys. If y'all listen to mine, I try to do the same thing. I don't sound as good. You sound way better. Yeah. No, nah, I don't have a bear white. It sounds just like me talking now. Hey, guys. Today, welcome to your daily switch. But I liked it at least. All right. Here we go. Three. <laughs> Two, one, go into that deep, deep squat. So we're gonna stand, we're gonna have like a, a, a portion of today's workout where we're gonna isolate one side, go to some conditioning, then do the opposite side. So four movements today that are gonna be simple. And of course, we're gonna take time to explain and give you some strategies and cues on it. But uh, in three seconds, I just want you to lay on your back. Three, two, one, and relax. So once you lay back on your back, I just want you to cross one leg over, hold it for a second or two with a wide shape, kind of like a T-frame. Uh, for some, if you look at Farrah, her knee is bent. If you need to extend it out, maybe you have more range of motion, you can do so as well. But let's stay here for another 20 to 25 seconds, and I want you to rotate on your own count. Um, yeah, so a couple seconds, like flip it on to the other side. You may hear some cracking. <laughs> But if you are, great. That means we're opening it up and loosening it up. Uh, a lot of times we get these cohesive knots and we get all knotted up. Our goal is to try to lengthen those muscle groups as much as possible, especially before we start working out. Let's get another 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's go up into that butterfly stretch on your booty. Feet together, push down with your elbows. Uh, you can like try to drop those elbows in if you have the flexibility. You might want to walk your hands out and sink into that deep stretch. You may have seen that on a deep stretch program, and it's because it's freaking good for you. That's why you've seen it. All right, here we go. I want to hit these hips one more time. Three, two, one. Everybody, bring that right foot. Put it on your left calf if possible, and then sink into it if you have the range of motion or the flexibility. You can try to put it on your knee. I'm good with either or. But it looks like Farrah and Shanice has their right side up, so they should be feeling this on your right hip area. Um, sink into it for another six, five, four, three, two, and let's switch sides. Same thing. All right, it's going to be the last stretch. Then we can get up, loosen our shoulders out a little bit, get you prepped and ready for today's workout. Um, yeah, I'm excited. They're excited. You're excited. All right, and relax. All right, ladies, let's go ahead and get on up. Let's do some big circles with our hands going forward. Let's do that for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. 10 seconds going forward. Loosen those shoulders up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Imagine you being that rock star that you are, that you about to kill it today, man. Imagine that, all right? Now I want you to go the opposite direction. Let's go backwards for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and last thing before we start, grab the lightest weight that you have at the crib. So if you have a five pound dumbbell, 10 or 20, whatever is light to you, grab one of them. And I want you to grab it on both sides, whether you have the torpedo or kettlebell or dumbbell, and I want you to lift it above your head. So check out Shanice and Farrah, lock out and hold it for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, keep it locked. Five, four, warming it up. Three, 
two, go back down. Let's do it one more time, and then we're gonna talk about the workout. And up, good, tight stomach, lock out, lock out. Think bicep by your ear, right? You're gonna be doing some of this later, so get ready, cause it's going to be amazing. Oh, uh, 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 who did that sound like? Oh, I've been working on it, and relax. I've been working on it. It kind of sounded like him, and then Bill Cosby a little bit. I, I can't say Bill Cosby on camera. Okay. 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 I didn't. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 All right. <laughs> let's let's switch it. Let's switch it. All right. So today's workout, ladies and gentlemen. All right. It's gonna be dope. We have a round workout. All right. It's gonna be one minute on. Excuse me. Forty seconds on. Twenty seconds off. And we're gonna repeat that. All right. We're gonna go 40, 20, 40, 20, 40, 20, 40, 20 with four different exercises. After you finish the fourth exercise, you're gonna get a one minute break. Sounds good. And then we're gonna repeat that four times. The first movement we're gonna do is gonna be a single arm uh, thruster. You're gonna do it 40 seconds with great tempo. And we'll talk about that more in depth in a little bit, but you're gonna stay on that right side, the dumbbell doing a thruster. After you finish that, we're gonna go into a plank walk for 40 seconds, and I'm gonna show you how to do that with modifications. Then we're gonna do the left side thruster because we can't just have one sexy side. And then we're gonna go into the fourth and final movement, which is gonna be a dead, excuse me, dead bug hold. And we're going to show you how to do that with weight. Um, you mind showing me what a thruster looks like with some weight? So, fair grabs the weight. We're going to go into that front rack position. Big, deep breath. Body weight on her heels. As she goes into that deep squat, she's going to power out, blowing that air out and going back down. What she wants to do, and relax, Farrah, because you're going to need it. Um, what you want to do during this segment in 40 seconds, nobody should complete 10 to 15 reps, okay, or at least 15 plus. Like, if you're doing 12, 15 plus, you're going too fast control today okay so grab weight that you can control and if you don't have weight that you can control i totally understand try to slow your tempo up and take breaks but right side's done then we're going to go to the opposite side you mind uh Shanice showing me how the plank walks look so she's going to go on her elbows forearms in a push-up position and then she's going to walk with her hand up and then go back down and then back up notice she went on her opposite hand as she came up and relax uh if you can do me one favor turn laterally so they can see you from the side view Notice in this position, look at her hands and elbows. They're underneath her shoulders. She comes up and then come down, comes up on the opposite hand and then come down. Second thing, if you notice, her knees are on the ground. This is a modifi modified way of doing it by keeping your knees on the ground. All right, so that's going to be our plank walks. Third movement will be back to the uh, lunge. You don't got a demo. You don't got a demo. But you can't do the dead buck. Yeah, you can do the dead buck. <laughs> you can do the dead buck. So uh, we'll have the opposite side thrusters, and then we'll do the dead buck. So can we do one without the weight first? So in her dead buck position, I don't know what house or neighborhood y'all grew up in. You may have never seen a roach, but imagine a roach dead, and all she's got to do is keep her, her shoulders off the ground and hold that pose. Her goal with this is trying to keep it parallel from her chest and contract the core, but breathe. And can you turn sideways one time? Notice when you look at her from a lateral view, notice that she's not doing a full sit up. Her shoulders is off the ground, maybe two to three inches, and that's it. Go ahead and relax for her. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's basically it. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Repeat all four exercises with a one minute break in between. We have four rounds total, and that will be your D25 daily sweat workout. Cool, ready to get it on? Weight wise, Choose something in the first round. I will start lighter, and you can always increase. But I don't want you to start with the heaviest weight and then say, oh, that was way too heavy, and then it discourages you. Start with momentum. Start with power. But remember, tempo, tempo, control, control. Other than that, any questions, ladies? Everybody's good? All right. So let's get this party started. And 10 seconds. 10. She's ready. Uh, she's ready. She's ready. All right. Hips under your feet toes out turn the music up three two one and let's go all right so both look at the depth of the squat body weights on the heel taking a huge deep breath every single time coach fair coach Denise is killing the game right now ladies and gentlemen we're at our first 15 seconds of today's workout uh, again eight is probably the minimum goal on this rep count no more than 12 okay if you're going to 12 i want you to bump it up Shanice is rocking a 20 pound torpedo and Farrah has a 15 pound dumbbell both are great weights for women or guys but if you need to increase in the next round you can clock says you have five seconds left four three two one and relax just out of curiosity did y'all keep your count 12 you're like me you didn't keep count 
work. I was working, Chris. That's what I was doing. I ain't here to count. That's your job. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. All right, here we go. So now we're going to those plank walks. Here we go. Elbows right underneath the shoulders. Three, two, one, and go. So with this movement, it is a core movement, right? Really challenging your obliques. But at the same time, you're going to really feel how you're going to challenge that tricep. Again, we have the Avengers, and I'm so scared because last time I did this, uh, Falcon flew away. He's not even in the videos today. But um, I I'm still going to go with She-Hulk. I'm, I'm going to get fair. I'm going to get flip. I'm gonna get fair of Black Widow. Is that is that her name? Yeah. Is she good? Okay, Black Widow. Okay, cool. All right. Got scared. Got scared. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and relax. I was scared. I was scared. All right. Oh, uh, which what side? Oh, now it's time to get the other side. But at least you don't have to go back with a plank. But you do have something after. All right, here we go, guys. Uh. Other side, please don't use the same side. Uh, clock starts in three, two, one, and go. So notice again, body weight on her heels. Both ladies have their chest up and proud. It's not about speed right now, okay? So last time, if you got 12, I want you to get 12. That's why I was asking you, Shanice, earlier. If you got 12 last time, hit the same target number. Even if you have to go over on time, I want to make sure every time you do your right side, you get the same amount that you got on your left side. We can't be lopsided with sexiness, okay? We got to have both sexiness, okay? So try your best. Uh, keep your count. 12 count is uh, going to be more on a high pace for a lot of you. Uh, but, again, we're just, we're just in the first round. So we got some time to continue to get stronger and better. Three, two, one. But, again, if you haven't got that same rep count, keep going. Good. But everybody should pretty much be done. Ladies, how we feel? So dead bug is on the menu for next. So whether you've seen one in your house or not before, go ahead and get in that position. I meant to show you guys how to use a weight, but if you've never seen it before, just give me about five seconds of the first interval, which starts in three, two, one, and go. So notice Shanice, if you didn't see how she has her weight, notice the weight is vertically above her chest, stomach's engaged, squeezing really, really tight. And uh, I'm gonna say it. Oh yes, I'm gonna say it. For those that have been working out with me, you know what I'm about to say. You see, like, Shanice really cares about Farrah. And, and she really cares about what Farrah thinks about her. So the circulation is really important. So make sure you're breathing, you're not holding your breath, because it's not the time to let something go in your living room or in your garage, especially if somebody's in there with you. And relax. All right, but I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm still curious. Last time I said there's nobody in boxes. I want to know who's let one go before in a workout. See how they ignore me? They want to talk. I want to talk about farts again. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all don't fart. Okay, all right, all right, guys. Well, you still got a minute. Still got a minute. So in this minute recovery, this is what I want you to notice. Where it's like, okay, this is not as bad as I thought. Right? It's not like, oh my goodness, I'm going to puke right off the rip. Like, look, you're going to have plenty of time to get your quality reps in, but tempo, tempo, tempo. So this is what, this is where you kind of make a life decision. Can you go heavier, but sustainable, right? So if you're in a position right now where you have multiple dumbbells or multiple torpedoes or multiple kettlebells, and you can increase and keep your form good, but don't speed up your reps, all right? So we have one round done. We have three more to go, all right? Clock starts in 20 seconds. So go ahead and get that torpedo ready. Go ahead and get that dumbbell ready. You know, Farrah gonna be locked and loaded. Like, come on, three, two, one, I gotta start, which is how we should be. Black Widow, my bad. We got Black Widow in the building. We got Hawk in the building. <laughs> Did I say fair? I didn't say fair? Oh, okay, okay. Man, for those that don't know, man, me and my names, I, I get them. I get them mixed up. But, all right, clock has started. I didn't give you that countdown, but I know you see these ladies already getting after it. So, tempo, tempo, tempo. If you're a person that says, when I like the tempo, I like to know the tempo count, I would say two seconds up, two seconds down. So, both these ladies are kind of going on the same rhythm. So, next time they start, I'm going to kind of give you a count. So, notice it's 1,001, 1,002, 1, and 2. 2 and 1, 1 and 2. So, it's almost like... As you sink that squat and press together, the squat takes a second and the press takes a second. Not all together in one, all right? 
and put a fact all good so for those that were keeping account if you did nine or if you did 12 or whatever you did let's do the same thing on the opposite side when that time comes so heart rate's up all right if you have a my zone strap on you're probably in the blue and green which is your calorie burning zone baby if you're in the red and yellow we want to try to get that down but clock starts in three two one with your planks um elbow again is right underneath your shoulder hands take the place of the elbow i'm gonna get out the camera shot because i want you guys to really focus on your form i really want you guys to focus on how these ladies are keeping their hips down good ladies fellas i know you over there working it i know you put i know you putting the work in fellas all right here we go clock says 13 seconds okay by any means man look if you need to go modify go modify by any means if you have to shake it off catch your break go right back into it but ladies and gents we got four seconds three two one and relax good all right 20 second rest period it's kind of a transition more so so remember how long that one minute break was once you finish that last set just know that you're going to get there so as we're getting prepped and ready i want you to be locked and loaded on the opposite side get that certain rep that you need to get clock starts in three two one and tempo 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 baby all right so you have coach fair and Shanice here giving you two ways of how to progress through this 40 seconds okay notice they're not rushing through it the same pain you feel baby is the same pain they feel i promise but we want to look like fair we want to look like Shanice. we want to have that a sense of confidence we want to have that sense of sense of go getter in your demeanor in your spirit this is where you get it so I always say, if you want to be a line, you got to hang with lines, baby. Right here, I have two lines on the screen for you. Let's get after it, baby. Clock says five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and booyah. Good. All right, good. If you notice Shanice got an extra rep in, it wasn't because she wanted to do extra. It was because she wanted to hit that extra rep to match the other side. So great job. All right, dead buck. Come on, get, those, get to those roaches. Get to those roaches. I know y'all never seen one. Raid <laughs> and go. Y'all remember that commercial? Raid. <laughs> I actually like those commercials. They were good. They were dope. Did, so, okay, I'm not going to talk about that. All right, guys, shoulders off the ground. Squeeze your stomach, okay? I know you're shaking and you like this dude is corny. He just keeps talking about farts and roaches. I just need you to hold it up the whole time. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. Look, you have 10 more seconds in, and just remember, after these 10 seconds, you can get that long break. You get that one minute plus the additional 20 seconds after finishing this round, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, and relax. Ah, not bad at all, baby. Shout out to Fair and Shanice for killing it. That's two rounds down. That means we only have two more rounds to go. We're halfway done with your D25. It goes by fast when you're having fun. Are y'all having fun? Well, look, guys, ladies, we have a minute left. Uh, Shanice, how you feel? You feel great? Anything you will tell the people? Keep going. Keep going with the point. She gave you the point, guys. Keep going. Coach Fair, you look so energized, like you don't get tired. Why is that? She loves what she do. And if you don't know, now you know. <sighs> Fair is our head coach when it comes to nutrition. So when you go to that tab on Daily Sweat, 365.com you click nutrition you fill out that consultation this is the young lady that you're going to be meeting with so no matter whether you're in omaha or maine or rhode island or hawaii connect with us we'll love to connect with you and feel you but with that being said you have 20 seconds left until we start this next round i want you to think power i want you to think you're an unstoppable force i want you to know that you're created to do this so with that being said i'm gonna get out the camera shot so you can see these two fabulous ladies but our clock starts in seven seconds ladies y'all ready to get it third round out of four here we go three two front rack position and let's go all right tempo 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 lock out every single time breathing right it's such a key component of fitness it's actually to me it's the most important component of life right if you don't breathe you die as <laughs> simple as that right so uh breathe but with the workout if i was a coach off shanice tempo right now as she locks out inhale holds her breath blows out inhale blows out all right so while you're doing your thrusters for 40 seconds you should take more than one breath right <laughs> of course 
and every rep that you're doing it deserves a breath so control your breathing and beautiful job relax 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 i say relax 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 and no i'm not cajun and you probably can hear it in my voice so great job ladies uh y'all kept your rep count hitting the 12s good so 12 look like the magic number some of you guys probably doing 8 to 12 maybe 15 at the max all right there we go plank walks baby so this one honestly when you see the design of the workout when you read the programming of the workout you may think man the thrusters is going to be the thing that kicked my butt in today's workout honestly the movements after the thrusters are the ones that are going to be the most challenging so right now and i could be wrong because everybody's different but i'm curious to ask them once we finish this one if i was doing this workout this would be the toughest portion of the workout for me because you're coming immediately off of a full body movement your heart rate's already going so typically when you lay down to the ground where your heart rate goes down we're keeping it elevated we're keeping it sustainable in that body fat zone three two one and relax good Woo! that was tough they like i don't want to hear no education about movements shut up let me listen to the music <laughs> no that's a tough one that's a tough one all right big deep breaths Tell yourself you can, all right? We got about eight seconds, baby, and we're going right into those thrusters, okay? Shanice was so ready for the uh, for the, for the dead bugs. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so beautiful. So, man, I love how both of these ladies, the depth of their squat is everything right now to me. If you notice, if you look at uh, Farrah, her knees are not caving in, and the reason is because her toes have power. They're going the opposite direction. Um, Big chest, if you look at Shanice, body weight on her heels as she press out. I love what we're doing, okay? Everybody looks really good. You're strong. You're built for this. Clock says you have eight more seconds. Seven. I know. I shouldn't have said that part. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and beautiful job. Beautiful job, my people. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Tree. Tree. I, 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 I just caught on on the end, but I, I yeah, I, I just caught on. All right, here we go. Dead bucks. All right, here we go. Either you're on body weight or you're grabbing something that's sustainable where you can hold it for 40 seconds, making sure your hands is vertically up across from your chest, keeping those shoulders and head off the ground. It's not You're not trying to do a 45-degree angle off the ground, like just enough where you'll feel it. And ladies and gentlemen, I promise, if you're doing this correctly, Two to three inches off you're going to freaking feel this your core is shaking like like if i had gave you the mic right now you'd be like trembling on your voice like you want to know do you want to know how much time do you really want to know how much time <laughs> three two one and relax Shanice, like look i get all this talking but tell me how much time is left on the clock little boy all right great job yeah all right well with that being said how do you feel she's ready look she got a, a, her torpedo we still have another minute we still have another minute but when you have quads like Shanice, she just relaxes on her quad and just it just keeps it there but uh ladies we're going into our fourth and final round of today's workout is there anything you would recommend or something that you feel that you would like to share we're almost there, we're almost there. ferris said we're almost there keep breathing man so all right that's it. So as we get ready for this last minute of today's workout, keep going. We're almost there. And as you're pushing, as you're striving, just remember, breathe. If you can do those two components, man, you got it from the gurus. Let's just implement and we'll be done. All right. So D25 is almost done. We have 20 seconds until we start this final round. So let's get ready. I don't know what you do to get ready, but I look really weird because I got my feet just, my legs have been awkward, but I'm ready because it's Chris, all right? All right, ladies and gents, let's get it. Here we go. Five seconds. Let's get locked and loaded. Know you're powerful. Know you're a beast. Clock starts in three, two, one, and go. Big, deep breath. Ask the grass in your squats. You're powering off with those heels. Knees are not caving in by any means. Every single time you go into that squat, you take that big, huge inhale, holding your breath with a tight stomach. As you're coming up, you're locking out with your arms, blowing the air out, baby. If you're doing that, you're getting results, baby. So if you're wondering, like my sister Shanice, she just looked at the clock. She didn't think I saw that, but I did see it. Clock says you have 13 seconds left, okay? Tempo, tempo, tempo. Don't speed up and try to get a whole bunch of seven, eight, nine reps in the last 10 seconds. 
strength comes from tempo, baby. Control, control, control. Three, two, one, and beautiful job, ladies and gents. All right. This one's going to be the one. This one's going to be the one. This one's going to be the one. So, but you can do it, right? Um, smile, right? Cut the sleeves off to your shoulders. I don't care if it's winter time. We're showing our arms off, baby. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, tempo, tempo, tempo. The thing that I would like to point out to make everybody kind of notice they're rocking this is that we're on the last round out of four of an intense workout and you're here right you're still grinding it out you're still getting up you're still getting down somehow some way you built up the 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 momentum to show that you can do this so right now as we finish this thing out i want everybody to know you have 10 seconds of this movement and you do not have to do this movement no more today come on five four three two one and beautiful job baby oh all right what's good for one side though is definitely good for the other so in 10 seconds let's get locked and loaded with these thrusters we got the single arm on the opposite side making sure we match what we did in the first round of the fourth here we go three two one and go you say what we, we don't discriminate one side like when, look, 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 ladies, when, when he look at the right side, you don't got to always take the pitch on your right because we look good on the right and the left, all right? Same thing, fellas, man. We're not just flexing on them on the right. We're flexing on the left. You can look you can look on the right side of my car or the left. Like, I look good on both sides, baby. All right, as I try to entertain you guys, the truth is that you're killing the workout and you only have 10 seconds left. You do what? It burns so much, she's controlling it. She's controlling it up, she's controlling it down. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, last movement, ladies and gentlemen, is the dead bug position. Yes, yes. Finish line. It's always brighter when you're close, all right? But just like everything else in life, we can't stop at the finish line. So push through, ladies and gents, okay? We're there, we're there. Farrah said it best, just keep pushing. Shanice said it best and breathe all right clock says you have i'm not gonna say it just keep going all right <laughs> just keep going <laughs> just, just just keep going good so just to point some things out she needs to doing a great job shoulders are off hands are vertically up same thing with my girl farah breathe 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 tight stomach so proud of everybody this is the trainer moment where you can do that final 10 second countdown because it empowers you here we go 10 seconds nine Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and boom. All done. Can I get some love? Uh, can I get some love? Uh, come here. Come here. Give me some love. Uh, better yet, like screenshot this. Like screenshot it. Boom. Tag us. The Daily Sweat underscore 365. Shout out to my girl Farrah. Shout out to my girl Shanice for killing the game today. Remember, consistency means everything, and to develop that, you have to come tomorrow. And if you need any additional stretching, go ahead. You can repeat the same one. Select one of the D25 deep stretches. Uh, get that in. It's not a D25. It's just a D stretch. But get your stretch in. Y'all have anything y'all want to leave with? Nothing? Nothing? Not cool. Well, great job. We'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you check out this week's podcast. Take care.